crash time, we're going to show you how to test your reverse light switch on your auto stick Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to do a bench test on this, but we will show you on the one that's in our car as well. But here's what your switch looks like. So again, I'm getting my trusty multimeter. I put it on to check the ohms or resistance level. Ours, I've mentioned in other videos, does have a beep function. So if I have a closed circuit, you get a tone. So if we close the circuit, we get a tone. So how this pin switch will work, let me uh, stand up my multimeter so you can see on the camera. When I test this in the standard position, I get overload. That means those pins are not connected. Now, if you push the car into reverse, I'm holding that pin down. Did you hear? Obviously, it's beeping. So when the stick shift goes into reverse, it pushes this pin down, closes my circuit, connecting these two together, essentially bringing power to your reverse lights. Now I haven't looked at the wiring diagram yet. I'm not sure if it's actually grounding out the lights or bringing the power there. I would assume it's bringing the power there. Okay, because the body of the light would be grounded to the tail light fixture. So this switch is also functioning, but I'm going to go over to the car now and show you the switch in the car. Okay, so I'm back at the transmission. On your auto stick, you actually have two switches at the back here. You have one which is to do with your temperature sensors of your um, automatic transmission fluid. And the second one, the one closest to the rear of the vehicle is your uh, reverse switch. So um, it's the pin switch we showed you. I have changed the ends on my multimeter. So I went with alligator clips so I've clipped one onto each terminal. The car right now is in neutral. Um, so if I show you the multimeter, I'm trying to show it without a glare, but the multimeter says overload. So if I go put the car into reverse, that switch, uh, the contact should close and my multimeter, I still have it on chime. So when it has continuity, it, it beeped there because it's gonna auto shut off. But uh, when I go close the tr I'm going to uh, shoot this again. So on the auto stick, you have two switches on the passenger side of the transmission. The one closest to the front of the vehicle is for temperature sensors of your automatic transmission fluid. The second one, or the one with two pins towards the rear of the vehicle, is your reverse switch so that is a pin switch like we showed you on the bench i did switch the ends of my uh, multimeter there to the alligator clip so i could just clip those on so right now i have them both clicked on and because the car is in neutral if we go look at our multimeter there's a bit of a glare or flare from the light there but it is saying overload so it is on chime so i'm gonna go get in the vehicle Put that in reverse and I should hear that switch close will make this chime because uh, we'll have a full circuit. The circuit will be closed. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, so here I am back at the rear of the car. My alligator clips are being a little temperamental. I am getting 24 ohms and you hear continuity. So the car is in reverse and my switch is closed. So looks like all I have to do is run a few wires and I will have reverse lights. That is how you test your reverse light switch. Okay, so as you can see, all we have to do is run a few wires and we'll have reverse lights on our Beetle. It'll be ready to get safety and hit the road. 
All right, so we went ahead and did the wiring. Now, if you look at the wiring diagram for the reverse lights, what you have is one of the terminals on the brake light switch goes to both tail lights, uh, one obviously to each reverse light, and then the other side goes to terminal 15 on your coil. And they do ask that that is a fused line. So put in a new fused line from coil 15. Car is still in reverse. And as you can see, we have light. So we're going to go ahead and put the tail lights back on, and then this car is ready to be safetyed. See you on the road. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.